All right, here is 92 Augustine Cutoff. And um, I'm going to say it later in the video, but I actually had the pleasure of seeing this before it was remodeled. So um, it has been an amazing undertaking. And uh, kudos to the listing agent. Um, I'm going to call them out later. It is their listing, just so we're clear. But this one is soup to nuts done and uh, done well. So you'll see a lot of that. And um, there you go. So here's the back of the house. We're going to do a little bit of flying in the beginning just to show you where it is. And in general, if you know anything about North Wilmington, you know Augustine Cutoff. Um, you know where it is. You can't really, you know, hide the location. But at the end of the day, I think there's some landscaping things that can really um, add to this house because it's a great lot, a great, you know, giant house, I'll say. Um, you got a basement, you got livable rooms, so it can be one level living uh, as soon as you enter the house. And then you have a massive upstairs, so a lot of potential. Just flying here a little bit to show you what the surrounding area is. So we'll spin around slowly. I think you're gonna see a little bit of Rock Manor, uh, the golf course, and um, proximity to 95, which is a huge benefit for anyone that wants to you know, travel or go into Philly or downtown Wilmington, really close to Trolley Square too. But you literally get out of your house, make a couple turns, shoot down 202, and um, there you go, you're, you're on I-95. So huge benefit for that. And um, obviously if you wanna golf, I, I would almost say you can walk there, <laughs> just be careful crossing. Um, you can almost see Philly in the background there, you'll see the river. And uh, that's it. So I wanted to give you a quick overview before we hop in the house and give you, you know, a boots on the ground tour and I actually zoomed in there to show you the signs for, for 95 South. So um, there you go. We're going to bring you back down. I think we're going to fly in this one right into the front of the house. Perfect timing. There you go. Uh, so take that in there. Uh, slate roof from what I can see. And here we go. All right. 92 Augustine cutoff. Looks to be like a beautiful remodel. Uh, I'll give you some more details. So listed by Christy Sabatino, and I think he has a co-listing agent at ERA. Um, so I'll tell you a little bit about them, but this is what I want everyone to see. You're gonna see this from above. Really kind of a major thoroughfare there. I mean, it is what it is. Uh, anybody driving up to there is gonna see it. I would suggest planting some arborvitaes here. Um, they're known as green giants and hiding some of this. It would also help with some of the you know, noise insulating factor, but check this out. I think they planted some Kentucky fresque or grass came in nice. So the front looks good. Let's do a, an out, outside check on everything. Looks like a Japanese maple there. But good news was I was in this house prior to it being remodeled. So I can give you kind of the breakdown on what that was, what it looked like. And you can really see a comparison between you know what it was and what it is so good news is you got a ton of parking so you can go all the way back there and park and let me go for a little bit of a walk just to show you it looks like they did some additional landscaping so there you are there's the back of the house cleaned it up quite a bit and planted some more grass in here but that is huge and i know the base uh, the basement was quite large too so we'll see what it looks like when we get in there I just, in these videos, want to cover every angle. So, uh, so you see, especially in this competitive market, it's, um, it's a must. So there is the AC unit. Again, the, the brick on the house, clearly painted white. We'll get the details on this. Uh, it's probably brand new, if not newer, but I can send you the disclosure. But just from looks, that looks good. Looks like we have a clean out here. And this, I'm curious. I'll check in the basement. If that's a sump pit, you always want the water, you know, shooting away from the house. That's my guess on what that is. We'll see. So a little bit of landscaping here. A good bit, actually. There's your gas meter. Really like the style of it, too, with those posts. I mean, to me, that's, that's a killer picture right there. That looks great. So inside we go. Looks like new concrete, too. Yeah, that's my guess. I'll check the disclosure. You got a ceiling fan there a light and a ceiling fan and this is a big big porch so let me just slowly spin that around without making this video too long for you frame this out too nice touch black door in we go this is staged i'm gonna take my shoes off oh wow they did a bad enough job to say the least 
This is beautiful. Recessed lighting, newer windows, power diem. Awesome. This is awesome. It's really cool seeing it before. So, if I'm not mistaken, that has a fan built in the top too. So really, really nice. I think these are the original floors. They just kind of, you know, not kind of, sanded them all and it looks like a lighter color because I remember them being darker. Fantastic, wood burning fireplace. I don't think they converted it, did they? Oh, they did. See the pilot light, fan, <laughs> awesome. Well, we'll do this pretty quick. Coat closet. Just want you to get your bearings. We're gonna head this way to the right of the front door. New windows, this will be your dining room. I like the lights on the wall and that. Very simple yet elegant. This is an open door. Some beveled glass. Shelves. Cool. I'll spin around without getting you dizzy. Wow, big tiles they put in here. Look at these. They gotta be three feet long. So all the way down there, we'll stay over here. Same thing with the wood floors here. They lighten them up. Now let's get your bedroom count. So this is gonna be bedroom number one. So bedroom number one, wide molding, fully painted, big closet. And, oh, that's a return, ah, cool. It's an interesting way to do it for the return. That's just metal. Very nice. Again, some of these things you'll have to see in person to truly appreciate. I do believe that's a fan too, if I'm not mistaken. So I'll figure that out. All right, nice doors. They didn't go with the uh, cheap six panel doors. They did a killer job on that. The bathroom, <laughs> look at this. Very in these days. Oh, look at these lights too, the Edison. Look at this. Well, there you go. Excellent, excellent job. Plenty of space here too. I guess that's an access panel for the shower. Big walk-in shower. Subway tiles. Oh, nice tile floor there. That's great. The wall set up. Beautiful job. And you have a window. It's a one-piece toilet. And then a double sink. So you are looking pretty good here. Even their attention to detail there with the towel rack. So remember, bedroom one, we saw a bathroom. This is bedroom two, but not the way they have it set up. I mean, you can do whatever you want if you end up getting it, but they put the laundry here to bring it up from upstairs. So this is a killer laundry room. I mean, you can turn it into an office, or you can turn it back to a bedroom. I mean, choice is yours. You got the view out the back here. So I'm just, just for count, if you need it, this would be the second bedroom. Not the way they have it laid out. Let's shoot down here. Great dining nook there. So you don't need the formal dining room. Here's the view of where we came in. And I don't believe I complimented their mantle. That is nice. Oh, look at that. That's one, one piece right there. With kids, again, I would just probably put something around that edge. You don't need it if there's all adults here. All right, another exit point here we saw from the back. I'm not gonna go there yet. And here's the kitchen. So you can come in directly into the kitchen. Here you are, I'm gonna spin you around. So I'll close doors. You got the white cabinets and then these, really nice with the black. You have a wine fridge. That tile continues there. And in here too, you have the three pendant lights and a lot of recessed lighting. I should be able to, there we go. Beautiful. Look at this, all the latest designs and styles. Let's see, you got a garbage disposal, a melon. That's a nice one too. Stainless steel appliances, plenty of cabinet space. They're going with the trend of doing those microwaves now. I like it, because it really makes this area look cleaner. Everything in here brand new. Crown molding to go around. And dear Lord, uh, one, two, three, easily four, maybe five seats if you squish them in there, uh, can work. So here we go. Here is a, let's see, a little bar area if you want it, or whatever you choose, and then a half bath, updated the sink, the floor, and a new toilet, one piece toilet. 
New windows. Excellent style. This is gonna be a closet. It is. Interesting. Guess that they just went over to put some new flooring in there. Make sure we didn't miss anything. We do have a panel right here. All right, that should be up to code. I know D. Sabatino owns uh, an electric company as well. I've used them, they've been great. So I think uh, they did a great job. And we're gonna call this, even though there's no closet, clearly it could be an office or a bedroom if you add it. Just for count's sake, I'm gonna say three. But just so you're aware, there is no closet official in here. So we'll say we're at three. And since we're here, let's head down to the basement. Previous realtor left the lights on. Let's see what they did down here. Ah, this makes sense. So this is the same flooring they put in that closet. So there's a wood burning fireplace. If I remember from before, this was a very interesting room, to say the least. Hi, right, it cleans up. Okay, Bradford White, industry standard, gas fed, hot water heater. Got a carrier unit here. All right, another panel down here. I know we sold the one upstairs. Everything should be buttoned up, yeah. Again, we'll check the disclosure, but these are not, these Sabatino is not an amateur. They are everything. Um, well, nothing but professional, I should say. Oh wow, they, they did have this. I think there was figurines in here. So I thought this would make like a killer wine cellar. I mean, if somebody's into model railroads or something, maybe they could do something here. But um, a lot of work was put into here. Still awesome cabinets. Yeah, I think there were some figurines from the last time I was here. So I'll, I'll bring that up, but just a nice little utilitary room or uh, utility, I wanted to say. I'm utilitarian. There's your water line coming in. That looks newer. Uh, again, just gotta say it these days. Well, everything I say in the video is my opinion, but you can look up my background. I'm happy to share it with you. So I just, in this crazy market, I just like to see people get all the information they can. Bonus fridge. Look at this, more electrical panels. Wow. Main service disconnect. There's the flooring they used and it's waterproof, which is good because we're in a basement here. Wow, they got a lot going on there. So, again, having an electrician and a licensed contractor that's known very well and very well respected should make you feel better because they're not their name's at stake here. They're not a fly-by-night flipper operation. I'm not judging anybody, but just saying, that's just a closet. I'm saying Di Sabatino is solid. All right, closet here, more space. Okay, nothing really to see here. Spin you around to get the sense. So it is a finished basement. I have a window back there, I didn't point out, and one here. So that's a pretty standard double hung window. Same there. We have a sump pit there. All right. Looks like a newer sink they put in there or is that from before and they just painted it? I don't know, but you got a sink. I think this was the bathroom. No, what was this? I gotta look at my old video. Hmm. Looks to be just the, uh, a closet right now. By the way, this is where you go out and walk up and you'll tie in with the driveway. Oh, shower. This is what I was remembering. I didn't think of a pool back in the day, that's why. And they had a shower down here. So there you go. That should be the entire interior tour. I'm gonna check it out from the skies. Uh, I think I already did a little bit in the beginning, but I normally like to do a little bit at the end too, just to show you anything I might have missed, get you better acquainted with the area. Make sure any lights be turned on or turned off. Whew, there you go. So watch this one slowly, it's, um. It's a lot to take in, but that is a killer renovation for everything in here. And by the way, we didn't go upstairs yet. <laughs> so, three bedrooms down here, I'm gonna say it. Obviously, you know, you can flex that any way you want, but if you need it, you got three down. And upstairs, you have one here, so we're up to four. It's a big cedar walk-in closet. Wow. I don't know, eight by 10, eight by 12? Just guessing, but it's the whole length of the room. Then you're gonna have some storage over here. All right, 
Carpet up here. So we're gonna call that four bedrooms. Now we're up to five. Yeah, is that? A... Yeah, they're fan blades that come out, I believe. Sorry, I wasn't even showing you. Oh, what was that? Let's, let's wait. Huh. Now I'll figure out how to work that. They should have remotes somewhere. Medium. Woo! <laughs> that is cool. I'll bring you here so you can see. S H E N G Q I. So light off. We'll stop the fan. I'll retract. There you go. You're gonna have a cubby hole there. So remember, by my count, if you're really pushing it, we're up to five bedrooms. There's a shot of that backyard. So we're up to five. Let's skip the bathroom. We'll come back to it. Six and seven. So if you need it, there's seven bedrooms. So from an investment standpoint, I gotta tell you, if you're renting this out by room, obviously always check with your <laughs> local ordinances and Airbnb and yada, yada, yada. Uh, do your own due diligence, number one. But number two, if you're able to do this, you have a gigantic house. And you could almost have this set up where, you know, someone's living downstairs and someone's living upstairs. Not to get too creative, but just letting you know, because there is a ton of space and they did a fantastic job. Look at this. Now, does this go right? No, this is your closet. Yeah, closet. Okay. And then all we missed was the last bathroom. Recessed lighting in here. Nice tile, clean, new, simple. Nice. And they did that right. I'm five foot ten. Just to let you know, plenty of room backing up. It's a little taller me, so that's probably at six feet. All right. Nice vanity and one piece toilet. Gotta say, D. Sabatino does a fantastic renovation. Absolutely fantastic. And uh, maybe that'll be even more apparent after you see what this house looked like before, because um, there was a lot of work to be done here. And they did a killer job. So for real now, I'm gonna leave you right here, bring up to eye level, and uh, we'll take the disguise.